Hello people and welcome to a new city. Today we're in the city of Torun. So Torun is about an hour away from Big Dost, where we are staying currently and we decided to come here for a little day trip. Now we learned about Torun through a friend of mine called Annika so thank you very much Annika if you're watching and she recommended Torun as it's her hometown and she told us quite a bit about it and how beautiful this place is and I must admit I was prepared for it to be very very nice but wasn't ready for it to be just this uh, just this beautiful so I'm very excited to get visiting today and see what this place is like uh, there's some very interesting history here and the fact that it's a world UNESCO heritage site as well this entire place is absolutely mind-blowing but actually when you start looking around you can see why it's a very very old place and very very well preserved so whilst we're going about I'll tell you a bit about the history of the place and uh, we're going to explore further and see what this place is like so let's go let's do it all right people so we just went and had a little snack to uh, fuel ourselves for this trip Polish kebab if you ever get a chance do try them they're very very good but uh, that's not the primary reason why we're here today we want to explore this uh, rather incredible city and I want to take you around this corner and just show you just just uh, just show you what I'm about to show you because it's I can't even get the words out to express it it's that beautiful like this place is absolutely incredible so let's have a look together look at this people now really it's a lot more uh, hustling bustling than uh, Bidgost so I'm quite surprised by that it seems to be some sort of thing going on today maybe but we tried to get a place at a milk bar earlier and it was so full they were like I'm afraid you're gonna need to get a reservation so we've made a reservation for a milk bar what is it 4 p.m. yeah yeah so we've made a reservation for 4 p.m. at a milk bar and then we just had a, a little bite to eat in the meantime but uh look at this I can't get over how pretty this place is so as I mentioned it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and you can see why now Torun has a very interesting history so rather than just spit out the history and tell you all about it I'm actually going to paint a picture for you and paint it as a story so picture this let's just say this land right now is just green grass everywhere it's just grass everywhere right now it's just a field in the middle of nowhere and what happened was that these knights came along called the Teutonic Knights and the Teutonic Knights were basically an order a Germanic order of knights who also had ties to uh, religion Christianity I believe it was and they arrived here and they looked around and they were like this is a good place to build a new settlement and so they founded Torun and this place was actually such a good location that it grew and grew and grew and it actually became a center of commerce and trade and things like that and as you can see around you the city actually became quite wealthy and was able to invest in quite a lot of architecture and structure and this is why you see a lot of the uh, the old gothic style buildings and a lot of the medieval buildings because that is a uh, very much a, a direct reason because of the the amount of wealth that this city used to generate and it was a very important place in the 13th century and beyond but as time grew the Teutonic Knights chef -chef, <laughs> as time went by the uh, Teutonic Knights actually lost a lot of their power and so the city became less and less ruled by money and these people and it became more of a casual place to live but nonetheless the uh, the history and the amount of money this place must have had to build such an incredible place still shows and of course as time went by the beautiful preserved buildings and the history here this place was eventually made into a world UNESCO heritage site the entire place you know so most world UNESCO heritage sites are just a an area you know for instance uh, most our bridge that's a good example this entire place is that uh, is actually the world UNESCO heritage site so quite impressive really and another very interesting fact about this place is that 
is actually the birthplace of a gentleman named Lucas Copernicus, or Copernicus, I believe, isn't that pronunciation? And Nicholas Copernicus was a uh, an astrologer or astronomer, sorry. And what he did was he kind of he really changed the way that we think about the world as we know it <clears throat> and the universe. So many, 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 many centuries ago. <laughs> we all used to believe that the world was in the center of the universe when nicholas came along and he was like no that doesn't sound right i think that the sun is surrounded by planets that are rotating around it and so nicholas copernicus actually formed a lot of the uh a lot of what we know today about our universe and we owe that to him and this is where he was born so Lots of very interesting facts about this place. It's an incredible city. And again, the history and the architecture in these walls really do show the level of uh, importance that this place must have played because again, they wouldn't have built upon this place so much if it didn't play such a strategic role in the growth of Poland and indeed the strategic location for marketplaces and commerce and trade and it became such an important place and again you can really see it the uh, the wealth of the past is very very clear from all the beautiful buildings so i'm going to keep pushing forward and seeing what else this place looks like in more detail so we're just heading now to go and try a uh, a local beer but it's not just any old beer it's actually a gingerbread beer and Torun, Torun, sorry, Torun. I gotta get the pronunciation correct, I do apologize, guys. This place is well known for its gingerbread. And apparently it's of the highest quality, so what better place to start than a uh, nice cold pivo on a uh, on a hot day like this. So uh, we're gonna head over there now and see what a local beer from this place is like. Hi peeps, so we've just ended up at this really, really swanky bar. It's called Jan Obracht, I think. Oh yeah. Pisna Obracht, I think it's called Jan Obracht. There we go. <laughs> this is where we are. So, Bob and Kyle have ordered some ginger beer. Gingerbread beer? This is gingerbread beer, yeah, so the first ever time. So I heard from one of my friends that this is really good beer and the best one to try, so let's give it a go. Oh, wow. All right, uh, bear with me people, it's really hard to explain, but it's like Christmas in a mug. That's the only way I can describe it. Do you want to try a bit, Tam? Yeah, I'll give it a That go. is incredible. Let's get it over to Tam. <laughs> Think of Christmas. <laughs> what do you reckon, Kyle? It's alright, it's not something I drink all the time. <laughs> I yeah. really like it. I think it's it's an acquired taste. It's not for everyone, but um, actually, I, I really like it. It's, you've got the kind of darkness of the beer, but then you've got this kind of warm spice at the same time. It's really interesting. I like I like flavored beers. I have them quite a lot back at home. Um, so would I recommend it? Yeah, it cost 19 zloty, which is roughly about four pounds. I don't know what that be in US dollars, so I'll put that down below. But it's about four four quid for that. Nice big mug. It smells great. And uh, yeah, this, this is what the place is known for. So I'm gonna try and get hold of some gingerbread if I can as well. Mm. I don't know how good it is. And I've just forgot to mention as well, actually, we've brought a bunch of magnets and I've not shown you any of them. Tammy loves to show her magnets in these videos, don't she? So uh, we've, only got one we've already got one today. We'll show you the other one maybe another time. We got one from a uh, big dust, but uh, we got hold of this rather nice magnet as well for our memories when we go home. So if you watched our channel before, you know that we do like to get a magnet. Our fridge is getting quite uh, busy. So yeah, that was four quid or 20 zloty that cost us. Um, and Tom's gone for a Pepsi Max. And uh, yeah, obviously there's still the Miranda there as well from earlier. So uh, yeah, I would uh, definitely recommend 
definitely recommend trying uh, this beer if you get a chance. I'm gonna give it another go as well. Just, uh, it's just so good. Yeah, it is like Christmas. It's like you got the warm spice, the mixed spice, the cinnamon, the nutmeg. Um, what else is in there? Cinnamon, nutmeg. There's something else as well. It's like a warm spice. I can't quite make it out, but it's really, really good. And then the beer is quite dark. It's quite a dark beer. So you've got the bitterness, but then the spice at the same time. It's got a tiny bit of sweetness as well. And it's home brewed as well. So home brewed beer. So we're going to finish this beer, go and do a bit of a hunt round and try and see if we can find some real gingerbread to try mm. and also a punch key. So if you've seen our previous videos, you'll know how much we love punchki, which is a Polish donut. Uh, we'll try and get that. And as well, just whilst we're here, do you like the uh, the new top? I'm dragging it about really, but look, look at that. So if you notice, we changed our channel logo recently to something a bit more playful, a bit more interesting. Um, because the pictures that we had previously were quite old, so we thought we'd update it with a cartoon, because uh, why not? A bit more interesting. So uh, we decided to get a t-shirt, but we're not selling them, don't worry. Uh, it's, this ain't a plug or anything. We just, uh, if people ask us what our channel name is, it's just easier to show them, and uh, then you'd recognize it by the logo. So there's some logic to it. But uh, yeah, so if you see us rocking around in these, and you see us out and about on our travels, then do feel free to say hello. Um, we always like to interact with people. Um, and we'll do our best to try and say hello in your language if we know it. <laughs> nice one, take care people. And let's uh, keep looking around. Okay. Dzień dobry. Czy mogę jeden czeko wody? I jeden budyn? I jeden jagoda? Proszę. Look at this, you've got so many choices. Beautiful. I hope I pronounced that right. Chocolati. Chocolati? Someone's got to correct me in the comments. Super. As what is Russia? Thank you very much. Me way good in yet. All right, got our donuts. We'll figure out whose is whose, and we shall let you know what we think. We've already had a punchki before in the what's it called? So again, sorry. One pound forty. One pound forty. What for the three donuts? No. Oh, per per donut. Okay, so the donuts are. One pound forty, so I'll put the conversions down on the screen. Just find somewhere without too much sunlight to try these out and see what they're like. I've never actually tried a chocolate donut before, so I might try and convince yes. the wife to. Oh, oh look, look, there you go. See, I did the order in. So, right, let's see who's is who's. So that's pudding. That's mine. Mine. That's yours. Mine. Right. Okay. So, what I'll do is I'll let these guys have theirs. Just Come back here a bit, guys, and uh, I'll get their thoughts. So I'll start with you, Sam. Oh, look at that. Got a beastly chocolate donut there, look. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that filling. Whilst you're trying that, Kyle, what you got, mate? You've got the pudding, is it? Mm. Mm. Not chocolate. It's not chocolate. No. Oh, it's, yeah. it's a chocolate, so it's a, the, 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 um, the dough is chocolate flavoured, but then the centre is made of jam. What kind of jam is it? Blackcurrant, I think. Blackcurrant jam. What do you reckon, Kyle? Well, it's best from what we had yesterday. Yeah. 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 yeah, so for context, yesterday we had one which was uh, literally fresh warm off the, uh, off the grill. Right, Sam, I'll get you to uh, do mine. So I chose Yagoda, which uh, is blueberry jam. So, I haven't got to the centre yet. But the dough itself. So nice. Mm. Here we go, look at that. Nice. It's proper thick blueberry jam, so. Oh wow. So the blueberry jam, 
It's got a slight sourness to it. Do you want to try a bit, Tom? It's got a slight sourness to it. I'll hold the chocolate one for you. I'm sure I can try that in a minute. Get your thoughts on it. Mm. It's good in there. And I will try Tammy's. So let's do it. <laughs> it's hard to describe, but it's got like al alcohol taste. Let's try it again and see what I mean. Got to try a bit, guy, with mine. I've tried pudding already, so uh, get stuck in, mate, and tell what you think. Like raspberry. Raspberry, yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Here, yeah, Sam, let's uh, kind of try a bit of yours. You can go for this one. Yeah, that's different. You tried all three, hadn't you? Yeah. Out of the three, the pudding, the blueberry, and the chocolate, which one's your favourite? Pudding. Yeah, I've got to agree, I had that yesterday, and that is really good. Right, we're finished these off guys, and uh, we'll keep on searching around this place. Okay guys, so here we can see an example of the gingerbread that this uh, city is so famous for. And you've got the different types just here. And in fact, you've got a whole shop dedicated to gingerbread, which is pretty cool. Just goes to show you how seriously they take the gingerbread game here in Torun. Or gingerbread houses and stuff like that. And so uh, we're actually gonna pop in here later to get some gingerbread for the trip home. So hopefully that's gonna be good. So we're heading over to the milk bar now. We made a reservation for around about 4 p.m. Though we didn't actually formally reserve anything, like a table or anything. She just said come back at four. So uh, yeah. I'm kind of hoping that there is still a space for us, but look at this. What a city. I really can't, you know, the camera is probably doing it slight justice. Ah, oh, there's uh, Nicholas Copernicus, Copper, Copernicus, Copernicus, Copernicus. I just forgot his pronunciation then. Nicholas Copernicus, the very person who discovered the, uh, the universal uh, knowledge that we have today. But as you can see, this is really a beautiful city. One thing that surprised me a little bit actually is it is slightly more touristy or touristic than uh, than Big Dost, Big Dost, sorry. So in uh, Big Dost, there was uh, very few tourists actually, but here there's a lot more of a tourist vibe. But if truth be told, we wouldn't have known about this place had it been not been for our friend who recommended it. So uh, I don't know how everyone knows about this place because I didn't. You know, I kind of felt like I had a bit of insider knowledge. I know a local, and they told me about a good place to come. And uh, I thought I'd pounce on an opportunity to, you know, visit a place that was uh, slightly a bit more, a bit less touristic. But regardless of this, I can see why it is touristic, because it's absolutely stunning. So we're going to head now over to this milk bar and we're going to try some traditional Polish cuisine. And then that should more or less take us up to our time where we need to start thinking about heading off back to Bydgoszcz to... Uh, get back to our apartment and relax, ready for a crazy journey tomorrow. So we're leaving the country tomorrow. I'll uh, leave that to the next video to tell you where we're going, but uh, it's gonna be quite the journey. It's gonna take us six hours to get there. So wish us luck. All right, so we're at the milk bar and I've ordered myself a potato pancake with goulash. Look at that. Tammy and Carla both got themselves a chicken filet with coleslaw and mash and then I've also got a compote and this is how I know compote to have little bits inside it oh, so refreshing not too sweet it's got a little bit of sourness which is so refreshing 
So this is a traditional milk bar. So if you uh, have a look up here, we're in a place called Pod Akadami. And there's an example of some of the prices up there. I don't know if you're about to see too well. And uh, let's hand that back to Tammy. So this is a milk bar, a milk bar. You might have seen a milk bar in our previous video. We've done it quite a few times. We love milk bars, they're fantastic. So milk bars are generally low cost um, food places and it's self-serve. So you go and collect your plates and then when you're finished, you put your plates away, I believe over there somewhere. So let's give this a go. Mm. What do you reckon, Kyle, to yours? Oh, <laughs> let me let me come back to him as well. I think it might be a bit too hot for both of them. <laughs> Here's a bit of the um, the goulash, I believe it's pork. Let me get in. So there you go. While Bob's doing that, I'll get some prices. Zoom in, I don't know if you can see. Mm. That's so tender. Just show the little hole in the wall there. A little hole in the Yeah. So, so very, very good. We do love a good milk bar. Sam, do you want to give us your thoughts on uh, your meal? Potato is really nice. Okay. I think it's got some sort of stock in it, like a flavoured stock. That's really nice. Do you want to try a bit of your? Go for it. So he's just trying some of this. That is so good. Let me just try a bit of this. I'll take a tiny tiny, and then I'll give. I'll let Tammy have a bit of mine. It's only fair, in we guys. I love goulash. That's perfect. Right, can I try a bit of mine, love? It's hot. Mm. Good in there. Kyle, do you want to try a bit of mine, mate? It's uh, potato pancakes with goulash. <laughs> yeah. You're not too sure on the sauce? What about the potato pancake? Do you want to try a bit of that? You're not a fan of potato pancakes either. It must be me, I just think they're really good. What do you guys think of the compote? Have you tried the compote yet? Yeah, it's nice. It's good in there. The compote is so refreshing. So we're going to finish this meal and then we'll let you know all about it once we've finished. So yeah, let's do this. All right, so that is a milk bar meal well and truly demolished. Absolutely stuffed now. Uh, beautiful. I don't think there's ever been a milk bar that I've not been disappointed with. I will say though that the milk bar here was a lot more friendlier than the milk bar back in Bidgosht. Um, I don't know if that's just because they were having a busy day or something. You can't always assume, but uh, the, uh, the the service in there was lovely. Everyone was really smiley and friendly and trying to help us with the, uh, the Polish <laughs> understanding. But look at this building. It looks like a face. <laughs> just about to walk through a building that's going to gobble us all up by the looks of it. <laughs> but um, We've got another 
like two hours here now. So we're gonna push on forward and explore a bit more of the city and see what we can see and, uh, and share it with you all. And uh, hopefully inspire a few people to come visit themselves. So uh, let's keep going and see what delights the city of Turin has to offer. One thing I absolutely love about Poland is the sheer amount of parks that are around this place. Have a look at this. Everywhere you turn, I don't know if I can walk over this. I, I won't. I won't do that. I'll, I'll, we'll go the long way around together. <laughs> but uh, you get a little POV park walk quickly. But look at this. No, no matter where I've been to in Poland, I've always found that there's beautiful parks everywhere you look. Loads of little green spaces and, uh, oh wow, you can see the old castle wall there. As someone who is uh, a fan of nature and green spaces and uh, wildlife, this is certainly something that I really, uh, really appreciate about Poland specifically, is the uh, is sheer, sheer beauty that you can just find just strolling out and about. So let's go and have a little look over here quickly. There we go, look. So relaxing and so calm. There's always somewhere to sit and, and just let your food settle down when you've been to a, a milk bar. Pretty old school tram that we get to ride, which is pretty cool. Hey people, so Welcome to a bus stop in Torun. Torun and uh, Torun, sorry. And this is where we currently are. Now, this is quite a story, but basically, uh, our bus, thankfully, I've never thought I'd say this, thankfully, has been delayed. And we are due to get this one, which is now an hour late, so that's now 19.47. And uh, this is our stop. Now, this is a very, very unassuming stop. Like, really, if you look, it's in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Now, the instructions are incredibly unclear. I cannot stress that enough. This is the first time we've had a somewhat of a negative experience of Flixbus. So, basically, what they've done is they've not given us a platform and they've said, basically this, your bus stop is either over there or over here. Now we originally thought that we were supposed to go back to the bus stop that we came here in. So we got to the bus stop, started looking around, seeing if there's any information about Flixbus. There was nothing. We were like, what is going on? So I double checked and it, well, it told us we had to be here. So we had, at that point, about 40, 40 minutes roughly to find our way here. The walk here was 40 minutes. So then we had to purchase a tram ticket, get on the tram, which was pretty cool because that's quite old school as you saw and ride it down and then we got here to where i don't know i'll quickly flip the camera so you can see where these guys over here are standing just over there that's where our tram got off and then we was just basically circling this entire area for ages and there was a little bus stop just over there which said flixbus on it and it was going to Vosava, which is the capital of poland if you're wondering and it was like there was no and then on the uh, instructions let me see if i can find them uh huh it's fine. Just uh, had to pull a muscle to do that. And uh, I'll try and show you, but there you go, so it's late. But then the instructions, I don't know if you can, let me just flip the camera so I can see what you guys are seeing. So I don't know if you can make this out, but it says in that gray box there, city bus stop is located on both sides of the road. And then gives you two options these two just here so you've got the one that goes to Vosava and then you've got the one that goes to Big Dost. but it doesn't make it clear where this bus stop is there's like 15 different tram stops around here as well 
So you've got like loads of trams, let me just zoom this out, wait. <laughs> loads of different tram stops, loads of different bus stops, and it's not entirely clear where it is. But thankfully, after some work and dedication, we found it and it was just there. So we are now gonna wait the hour that this has been delayed. Head over to back to Big Bidgosht. I guess this, this is the uh, karma that I get for saying that we've not had a bad yeah. experience as well. Because I remember last time in Slovakia, I said we had no negative experiences so far. So this is the karma. But in a way, it being delayed was the best thing that could have happened to us. Because if it weren't delayed, we would have never have found this place. So to be honest, Flix bus sticking your bus stop in some random location and then telling us that there's one of two bus stops that we can get not numbering them not providing a picture not providing any sort of information just saying good luck find it yourself in a country you're not familiar with in a language you don't really speak is a big ask so i don't know how we've managed to do this and find it but we have so if you ever get stranded in Torun and you've got to go back to big Dost, this is probably the station you need it's got a yellow pole there's a nice big building over there and there's like a salon thing some graffiti there and a purple building back there so that's how you will find it if you get stuck so we're gonna make our way back now a little bit of a stressful end to the day but i still really enjoy touring today and we just want to thank you guys for watching we hope you have a great day and from the three of us we shall see you all very very soon take care people